G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thank you for joining me. I am going to try Lillian's Dali flower again, but this time in reds and oranges. And I'm not going to do any black this time either and just see what happens. Now this is a Lorez tint. One, two, three. And it doesn't really spread like an alcohol ink spreads. Let's have a look at that. It's got what does. All right, go over there. <laughs> I probably only needed two. I was saying to myself before I started the video, now, Julie, don't put too much color in. Okay, don't put too much color in. And then what do I do? I'm a dark. It's still transparent. Okay, so it needs to be transparent. And then orange. So this is Let's Resin Orange. One, two, three. You can see how the um, alcohol ink spread and they're not as dark. Or five. We'll try five. I've just splashed on my mold. But yeah, I find that you need more of um, the alcohol ink in comparison to the tint because obviously with the alcohol ink it's got tint in it and then they fill it up with alcohol of some kind <laughs> so yeah it's it's different okay let's leave it at that I think I probably made that one a bit dark or do I need to go darker again um, let's just leave it let's leave it I've got some little red crushed rocks to go in the middle so yay all right now for what have I got in here um, 30 grams one ounce and I'm gonna put in four drops so very similar to what I would do one two three four very similar to what I would do with my 3d bloom that's the cast and craft um, I've got the rest of my resin there I made up um, 100 grams of A, 43 grams of B in the Platinum Ultra Clear because it's a really thin, low viscosity. Low viscosity means it's very thin. High viscosity means it's thick. So it has a high resistance. Like if you're swimming through something that's really, really thick, if you're trying to swim through jelly, <laughs> it's very high viscosity. You can't swim through jelly. Um, but you can obviously swim through water, which is a low viscosity. All right, so there we go. Really nice and milky white. That's how I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know if that's how Lillian does it because I don't know her recipe. I'm just just winging it, trying to figure it out myself. Okay, um, and then the rest of it I've got in clear. So let's move everything away. This is my chunky live edge mold. So, I'm going to put some dark around the edges. I'm trying to get it to go into some of those little nooks and crannies. No, don't close up yet. There we go. <laughs> Throw it in real quick before it closed up. Oh, an orange in the middle. Oh, I don't know if it makes any difference or not. But that orange hit the mold instead of hitting the red. So there we go. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? Choo! <sighs> oh my gosh, bits of glitter and stuff everywhere. It's just how it is, isn't it? You use glitter once and it's forever in your craft pieces. It's just there forever. I can see a bubble in there. I am a bit concerned that my red is too dark, but anyway, let's go for this. Now, um, with my white, I'm just going to pour spirals like I do with my 3D blooms. Okay, and I'm going to start in the middle, like so. I think that's probably enough. Probably enough. Actually, let's just put a little bit in the middle. Actually, I uh, should have saved a little bit. Okay, um, another quick little torch. 
All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this into the middle. I'm going to try from up high so I can get it to like push back and then come back and go whoosh. So <laughs> try and do it a little bit higher, but try and get the middle. Ready? Okay, whoosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Got to have the sound effects. I'll make sure that my mold's nice and full. Nice and full. Hopefully we've got a lot of movement going on there. With the whooshing. <laughs> oh, God. But look, it's doing stuff already. It's doing stuff. It's, look, it's, yeah. <laughs> try, not to, not, try not to fiddle with it too much. Um, in saying that, um, I do want to add some just red, a little bit of red crushed glass. Yeah, that's enough. I might actually put a tiny bit of um, gold in that as well, just in case I decide to do some gold on the edge there. It's really hard to see, like, once it's in there, you don't know whether it's centred or not. I'm just going to grab a little bit of gold. Uh, just a tiny bit. Oh, there's already a spoon in there. I need to get more of these little tiny spoons. Okay, now I am going to have to kind of poke it. <laughs> to distribute so that I've got some gold just kind of poke it a little bit can't really see where I'm going under there but figure if I just give it a bit of a poke like so all right now the other thing I want to do before I before I go is I wonder if I can get that to go down to the the bottom. Ah! Where did it go? Where did that just go? I'm going to try and do like a little petal. A little kind of a petal. I haven't got much white left though. I'm just try and draw a little petal. so all right we'll see how that goes just so that we get some kind of interest in the middle I think the middles are really important okay now the other thing I need to do before I go is just bring this resin to the edge could have actually had a tiny tiny bit more resin but look oh, only another 10 grams <laughs> probably not even worth thinking about just to fill it up a tiny bit more but then you have the problem of it overflowing hey so all right oh, don't push on it I'm pushing on my board and it's moving all right so that's it last little torch should we put it on time lapse I'll put it on time lapse for a bit if it works, you'll see it. If it didn't really change much, you won't see it. <laughs> okay? I can get my gloves off. I'm unmolding that tomorrow, so don't look at that. All right, it's ready. Do you like the little time lapse? It didn't change like a lot, I guess. It had more white on it and then the white kind of all sank and the red kind of came up. Where's the orange? Where's the orange? Oh, I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> I hope it's in there. I hope I'm not going to turn it over. It's just going to be a big red mass murder look. <laughs> No, let's hope that it's um let's hope we get some orange in there. Oh, I've got a little bit of transparency through. There it is, there's the mold. <laughs> a little bit of transparency. Oh, okay. Are we ready? It's always nerve-wracking. Always nerve-wracking. Okay. <laughs> 
Here we go, without further ado. Oh, look, I did lose my orange, but <laughs> it's, it's still really pretty. I did tell you that I put way too much red in it, didn't I? But that's really pretty because... And I'm not just saying that because I did it. I'm saying that because we've got this gorgeous puffy red around the outside. And then we've got the lighter, it's almost white, that wispy kind of white. And at least I've got something in the middle. And then we've got that little bit of red and a little bit of gold in the middle there. Oh, so there you go. All right. Well, a bit disappointing that I lost all my orange. I'll have to go again. And um, less drops of the red more drops of the orange but as far as the actual puffiness goes it is really really pretty okay now i am going to just that's probably a little bit too close isn't it i'm going to do a little bit of gold around the edge just to pick up a little bit of gold there not that you can see a lot of the gold there. I may actually just do a little bit more <laughs> like this. Just a little bit. And then if you wanted to, you could do a top coat and no one will know that you've added more. <laughs> uh, I know it's a bit of a cheats way, but oh, maybe this one. I don't know which one's better. I don't know which one's better. Maybe this one. Oh, I'm trying to put the wrong thing in. I'm going, to try, I'm going to do this one instead. Let's just wipe those off. The, um, the deco colour doesn't wipe off like the other one does. But yeah, you could definitely um, do this. Oh, look at that. And then um, add a little bit of, add a bit of a top coat. Trying to make some bigger ones and some smaller ones and a little bit. No, it's just not so, not so formed. But yeah, look, you don't have to do that. It's That's just, just me, me being pedantic, wanting a bit more gold in. Um, but yeah, I didn't really put much gold in, did I? I was worried that it was going to take over. If I hadn't had so much red going on, um, I probably would have been able to see the gold a little bit better. This is my favourite. I, I mean, I know I've been using that other gold, but wow, the deco colour is just divine. And the nib's easier to use because it's flat, whereas the other nib's curved. It's not quite as easy to, to use. So I'm going faster here. Look at me go. Look at me go. So you can go along the top edge. You can come back and you can do a little bit on the actual stones if you want to. Stones. I say stones lightly because it's not stones. It's resin, but you know what I mean. Just to kind of thicken that top edge, you can... You can do that so you can have it as thick or as thin as you want. I tend to like just doing a little bit of the extra crystals on the sides there. Gives it a little bit more dimension, I think. So you just push, push with your little pen and go in, in like that. Oh, it looks really pretty. Never mind, never mind. It just means I get to do it again with a bit more orange and not so much red. See, the good thing about doing this, and um, like I've been, I've been doing these probably twice a day for the last two weeks, you know, practice, 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 writing down what I do. If something works, then I write it down, you know, this many drops and this amount of resin and it does take a while, um, but the good thing is that you're only using like half a cup of resin, so it's not like you're, you're wasting it. Um, and I, I like a challenge, so I've enjoyed doing them. So what do you think? What do you think of the red? I'll just call it red, okay? Don't tell anyone that it's supposed to have orange in it, okay? 
Just you and I'll know. Okay, there we go. It's our red and gold. <laughs> flower. Dali flower. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Hope you've learned a little bit about, you know, how maybe you can finish off the top if you're not quite happy with it. You could just leave it like that or you could just do a little skim coat of resin over the top as well. So there you go. All right, best go. Move on to the next one. I want to do pink and yellow again. Try that. Pink and yellow with um, in the Dali technique of Lillian. So that's... That will be coming up soon. You're not getting bored of them, are you? Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you don't want to see them anymore <laughs> or whether or not you're happy to see more while I'm experimenting. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And um, as usual, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye for now.